doesn't that look amazing? It looks amazing! It drags the main vis for the carnival area. It looks really, really cool. I love it. It's like a carnival tent. Oh, nice road as well. I love this. It... I don't know. I... I don't know. It's so simple. And... But... It just works, you know? Like, it kind of, like... Starts the theme of a carnival. I don't know. I feel like I'm in the carnival myself. And then you look out the other side. And you realise there's nothing over there. But... I don't know. I like it a lot. It... It's... An, like, even though it's, like, really, really simple. And it's just, like, wool. And it's wool in the shape. It looks really, really good. I don't know. What's Chilling Roos? It's Trouble here. Welcome back to another episode of Hyper Mind, everybody. <laughs> yeah. I still think it looks amazing. Oh dear. Nice job, Drax. And I'm gonna walk backwards looking. No. No. Uh, what's Chilling Dudes? Trouble here. Okay, so in this episode, we're gonna go visit Lapis's Maze first of all, and then we're gonna be working on the Kiwi Corpse building. But we're over here first of all at the connect 4 because I've been working and I've been sh I've been trying to get a style for it because I wasn't really particularly like happy with what we built last episode I wanted to make it better I don't know I had this feeling that it could look better and I think I'm starting to get a little bit happier with like how the building is going to look all right so this is what it looks like so far. Uh, I actually got rid of the glass painter in the very center and then I shifted them out here. So what I'm thinking is we could have, oh let's see, yeah we have sign on us. We could have walls like this and then the observers can like stand over here if they want to support blue. And then there's a door over here and then they can stand over here if they want to support red. Um, and then uh, this wall is complete though so that's really cool I was trying to get a little bit uh, of an idea for the spacings on the inside so if this is the inside I think it looks really cool honestly uh, got quartz beams along there I think that looks really nice kind of looks like a structural support might need some quartz beams there though actually <laughs> now I'm looking at it shift the uh, B and the R one to the left and one to the right just because I think it looked a little bit weird uh, where it was got rid of this pillar, there used to be a pillar over here and then I just shifted it back and then I replaced the uh, button colour with pillar quartz think, I think it looks really good and then I got rid of the uh, glass panes over here so you can see the connect for a lot easier so for example if I press that like you can you can basically see it, it's on stage, it looks beautiful, I like it <laughs> oh dear and yeah, I will need to continue to work on it, but I'm going to be doing a lot of it off camera because a lot of it's got to be fiddly bits, and I'd rather do like more progress stuff uh, on camera. And then if we run over, um, yeah, I still need to go <laughs> get some more red sand. We've got lots of sand currently up there, but we need more red sand. Yeah, and then down here is the redstone. Uh, I need to go cover that up. You guys have seen it already, though, so there's nothing new to show over there. Just to show that I've been doing a little bit of work and I shall continue to do so. I'll leave all of the stuff here. I've got that iron helmet on me as well because I need to go get a new helmet once uh, this maze tour is over. Right, to the Lapis Maze! Bum -ba -da -dum. So Lapis made this in an episode. Uh, she made an awesome time lapse. The maze was made... I. Th Her inspiration for the maze was... It was in the movie The Shining, which is a horror movie. And... The Mythbusters did it in an episode, I think. So we'll try and do the maze. I've never watched The Shining, so I don't know what's where we're going to be heading. I don't know where the end of this is. Oh uh, dear. Hopefully we don't get too lost, though. Oh, wait. The, do we need to go to the center? I don't even know where we're supposed to go. I just wanted to do the maze. <laughs> because it looked really, really cool in the time lapse. I'll have to go link in the description. Lapis's time lapse. It looked awesome. Uh, um, uh, left, okay, that way, right, are we there? Hey, we're here! Was this supposed to be a challenging maze? <laughs> oh, I guess it's not really too big. It's super cool, but I like the, like, the middle, like, that is an awesome, that looks like awesome detailing. This courtyard looks awesome. Oh dear. Oh dear. I like these benches as well. They look really cool. <laughs> Sweet. So we completed the maze. Uh, how do we get out of here? Oh dear. Oh dear. No, no, no. It's raining. Oh dear. 
Let's get out of here. Uh, do we need to go that way? Oh, we need to go this way. Except it's not letting us go this way. That way. Oh no, that's a dead end. Uh, can we get out of here properly? Oh uh, dear. This way? Is it through here? Have we got it this time? Hey, we got it this time! Woo! <laughs> so just a little fun maze. Really cool, I like it a lot. Lapis did a really good job with the time lapse. Hey dude. Bye dude. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna go shift over to the Kiwi Corpse and I'll see you guys in a little bit. Alright guys, we're in the end. I don't think you guys have seen too much of this place. I'm not sure. I don't remember ever being here very often. But this is the end of uh, the Enderman farm. And I need to go enchant some stuff. First of all, I need a new sword. Because an iron sword is just not sharp enough. This is looting, but it's not like the best of like swords. I need a new helmet. And I thought I might as well go enchant a new pair of armor. Because I'm here, you know. Might as well have a spear pair of armor. In case I lose all of this. Alright, so I will see you guys. Oh, I'll do some enchanting and uh, you guys can come along with me. Protection 4. Ooh. Those are, those are good. Sharpness 4. Sharpness 4. Here we go. Oh, just sharpness 4. Um. Uh. Hmm. Can we go combine it with something? Can we combine it with looting 3, maybe? Ooh. That could be a really cool sword. Uh, let's go for it. Yes. Oh baby, we got a we got a looting sword. All right. Also gonna waste some more diamonds and combine it with this unbreaking three diamond sword because I'm never gonna use this diamond sword. I mean, I could combine it with other diamond swords, but meh. Rather not wait to use it. Sweet. Shamless four, looting three, unbreaking three. Yes. Ugh, everything at unbreaking. Alright, here we go. What do we get? Ugh, no! 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 Pants have protection for on them again. Oh, they- Oh my god, perfect pants! Oh yeah. Alright, tonight, let's go check the stuff on this arm stand. Alright, I've got two actual sets now. Boom, boom, boom. Alright, so this is our main one. This is going- Oh, actually, I'm probably going to go replace my stuff right now with it. Uh, ultimate pants. Yeah, sure, it can be replaced with more ultimate pants. Uh, I'm gonna go keep these boots because these boots are cool. And then these are just projectile. Uh, but I've got projectile protection and respiration. Uh, oh, ultimate pants. Uh, the diamond chest plate, which Lapis gave me as a gift, which is super cool. And then these boots, which I really, really like. The depth strider and the feather falling, and that was the protection, and that was unbreaking. Best boots ever. Well, except for fawns, but who really needs fawns? And then, uh, the rest of this stuff. All of my other boots have feather falling, so that's really good. And... Oh, what, bugger, I forgot to go check it on the uh, armor stand below. No, not you. Uh, I think there's an armor stand over here, which we... Yep, there's one over here, which we can use. Do, do, do. Boom, 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 boom. In case we need that suit of armor. And is there one over here? There is not one over here. Is there one over here? Yes, there is one over here. We'll go check it on here. And no, 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 no. Torrey, keep your attention on the task at hand. We can go check it on here. There we go. Right, and then we'll go chuck the suit on the one above. Sweet. I'm going to go see you guys at Kiwi Corpse now, and we'll go do a little bit of work over there. Okay, we're over at the Kiwi Corpse uh, construction site. Uh, I've cleared away a lot of the dirt which was left remaining over last episode, and now there's basically only stone remaining, and, uh, yeah, I, I cleared out a lot of the dirt, uh, what we'll need to do eventually, as soon as we've cleared out, like, the rest of this dirt, uh, sorry, the rest of the stone, and also over here, this is what, uh, the hill's gonna look like now, there used to be a hill over where I am. Uh, but what we'll have to do is we'll have to go fill in the stone back in with like dirt and stuff so it looks a little bit more natural than just one huge, huge stone dump area. But that's going to be uh, our job because we made this mess and we have to go clear it up. But in the meantime, just uh, mining and whatnot, reading Reddit. You know what I like to do when I... When, I, when, when I'm like doing like this grindy stuff, what I like to do is I like to like read Reddit for uh, one thing. A, because it's nice to go read, like, what other people are, like, thinking on t certain topics. For example, Ask Reddit, when people ask, like, random 
questions. If you're wondering what Reddit is, basically it's just internet forums where people can post their uh, own opinions anonymously or are verified, depending on whether they want to provide proof or not. Um, but there is a uh, subreddit on Reddit called uh, Ask Reddit, and Ask Reddit is where you can go ask questions and people respond to them. And then I like to go read through those answers to those questions because that's really educational in terms of like different experiences. And also because it's just lighter on my internet bandwidth because I don't have too much internet bandwidth. And loading up a text thread page definitely uses a lot less internet than watching a YouTube video for example. Because a, a 30 minute YouTube video according to YouTube's like compression values is about 1 gig whenever I download it at least so probably about a 1 gig in like internet bandwidth for 30 minutes. It's, a, it's quite a lot. It's a, it is a lot to go watch YouTube videos. Uh, so yeah, I like Reddit. Reddit's really nice. Uh, I also like listening to, to music and that's really good as well. Like, I've got a Spotify uh, sometimes in the background. I don't have it loaded currently, but I like to listen to music and whatnot. And then apart from that, just maybe watch YouTube videos if I've got the internet bandwidth. Not so much anymore these days. I'm trying to go conserve on internet bandwidth. I tweeted a while ago on Twitter that uh, I have to go start cutting back on YouTube videos and streams because my internet bandwidth is already reaching the cap soon and I've got like another two and a half weeks to go so wow. <sighs> the life of a YouTuber. Speaking about the life of, of a YouTuber, I used to go to bed really really late because I would record until about 2am in the morning like, I'd start recording at about 8, 9, 10 in the evening, and then I'd go all the way to about 12 or 1. I'd stop recording, sometimes 2.30, and then after that I would go edit, render, and then I'd upload, and then by the end of it I'd be going to be at about 4 or so, because I'd also be procrastinating and whatnot with the editing. So, I've been trying to go, well, like, Tonight, for example, I'm going to go try and go to bed about 10 or so. Right now it is 9.45pm, and the life of a YouTuber, slash life of a gamer, slash life of a procrastinator, means that you go to bed like really, really late, and I'm trying to go correct to myself. I've been tired for this entire recording, and that's because I started my schedule last night, where I tried to go to bed early, like, what I would do is I'd go to bed, well, last night I went to bed at 10.30, and then I woke up, well, the plan was to go to bed at 10.30, ooh, nice, we're done, yes, yes, sweet, uh, the plan last night was to go to bed at 10, 10.30 and then wake up at 6.30 and then uh, start the day, because that's, I like 6.30 because 6.30 allows, oh, I chose 6.30 because I think it would be, was there an Enderman here, wow. Uh, I chose 6.30 because I think that's a time in which it'd be awesome to like hang out with like the British people which I don't really talk too much because they are 12 hours uh, ahead slash behind me. So if... Hey dude. Uh, if it is 6.30 then it'd be 5.30 for the British dudes or 6.30 for anyone else who's not. And... Yeah, but last night uh, like I'm used to like a late schedule, like a late sleep schedule. So... Like, late sleep schedules, like, got to be, like, 4 or 5 in the morning-ish. So, when I went to bed at 10.30, I got up at 2.30, because I wasn't tired. And then I went back to bed at 4.30, because I realised I couldn't sleep for, like, half an hour, so I stayed up for about 2 hours. And then I got up, uh, I went to bed at 4.30, and then I woke up at 5.30, went to get a glass of water, went back to bed at 5.40, and then I woke up at 6.30, so I've been tired all of today, trying to, just trying to get into a proper sleep schedule. But that was the reason why I didn't go upload the modded yesterday. Uh, I don't tend to upload videos I don't really want. Like, I don't really want to, when I don't really want to uh, rush a video, then I won't upload it. And that modded video was just one of those times. The response on modded has been uh, very surprising to me because I've built my channel not real. I haven't really built my channel on modded. I've built my channel more on 
vanilla. Like I've been doing Skyblock and I've been doing like SMP and custom map stuff. I built my stuff on vanilla, but there's more views on like modded than this series in Hypermine. And it's crazy, you know. It's like something you don't really expect as like a YouTuber. You don't really expect views on something which you're not specialized in. Like I'm not specialized in modded at all and you guys seem to want to watch it. I don't know, it's crazy to me. I swear to get used to this sort of stuff. I just started rambling. Holy bugger. Alright, let's get actually into the Kiwi Corp stuff. Right, stop the rambling torps. Alright, here we go. I brought some stuff over. Uh, there was a... I left... Oh. I la asked last episode uh, what sort of colour scheme we should have for the Kiwi Corp space. And Derek left a comment saying we should try the red and black scheme. So I brought over some red... Hmm, strange lag. Uh, I brought over some red and some cyan stained clay, and I've also brought over some iron blocks because I think that might be a nice flooring. I'll bring out, uh, like, never broken stuff later on, but I don't have any never broke on me currently. Hmm, I'll have to go fix that road later on. Alright, um, let's see. I'm gonna go do a little bit of building, and I'll catch you guys in a little bit. Alright, so I've been messing around with the design a lot, and I kind of have, like, a uh, visual image. Well, a mental, not a visual image, a mental image in my mind about what I want this building to be. And it is, very, it is a very interesting design, and I'll have to go build the outside of the building to make it actually look good, but I'm just coming out, like, trying to see what's going to work and what's not going to work. So, uh, let's give you a little bit of a tour of what I've got planned, well, what I've got here so far. Ooh, nice. All of these stone is smelted as well. Uh, I decided to go get some stone so we could get some stone slabs to go complete this. Right, so the path will continue along here. I mean, this will be where the building is. We're going to go have probably some garden stuff on over there just to make it look good. And then blah blah blah. And then over here is where the entrance is. Like that. Like so. And then uh, you would enter... Well, this is going to be awesome. In my opinion, I hope. So, if someone brings a horse, then they can go travel along here. Da da da. Uh, let's make that four wide because everything else is four wide. Blah blah blah. They bring the horse and then they go through here. Now, this is the main entrance. This is for the uh, foot people and they can like go through here and then they go up these stairs. And the reason that the sticking floor is um, elevation, sure. <laughs> elevation is cool in design and whatnot. Also, so we can have the basement. Also, just so we can have different elevations, right? And also, we can go see outside windows a lot better. That's the main entrance to the uh, automatic potion brewing business. Although, if you bring a horse, you ride through here. And then you go down this path. And then here, this is... Uh, if you've ever been to an underground car park, this is what they're like. Well, I hope so, but... Uh, It'll be an underground car park, and then you'll be able to park your horse, or your car, car slash horse, in these sort of parking zones, and then there'll be one there, and they'll all be redstone automated, so if you bring a horse, you just ride in here, your horse triggers something, and then it's uh, parked, and then you, when you just want to leave, you go press something. Uh, we'll have one here, one here, which is indicated by this hole. Like that. Each of these are four wide because obviously our whole, our car parks are luxurious. But yeah, there'd be a parking zone there, parking zone there, and parking zone there. We'll have three different spaces. And then when you park your horse, you'll be able to go up these stairs and join the other path over here. Now over here, I'm thinking it'll be like customer service. Because where we go to pay for the uh, pleasure of experiencing all of the potions probably go this way actually it'll probably go this way so you'd have to turn right there'll be one collection point and they'll be here most likely so you walk here and then you go pay you walk through so it's kind of like a little door so you pay and then this uh, goes down and then you can walk through and then you'll be able to take your potions probably along this room here probably this over here just so we can kind of have like views from the front and then we can kind of keep like all the customers centralized in the very front zone so we can have all of the factory behind the scenes stuff in the back well this is just me thinking and then once you're done 
what you do is well oh just thinking right now uh when you're done all you have to do i've got some stairs on me right when you're done all you have to do is you go through these doors uh like that and then probably some doors here or something and then you have stairs going up here to here so that's the uh, one way exit so it's kind of like a little loop you pay there and then you can walk out here it'll be locked by iron doors and whatnot so that'll be really cool and then this guy over here is like the customer service security guard dude i think that would be super super cool and then uh all of these potions will be like catered for oh, okay now i'm thinking now i'm thinking hold on so when like when you select your potions and then you can walk back through here uh, we'll, we'll probably have like a lever over here as well. Uh, probably need some more iron blocks, I'll get it eventually. Uh, but all of our potions will be brewed here. Well, no, 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 the potions won't be brewed there, but those are where the potions will be stored. And then what we can do is we can have, um, let's just use polished die right for the moment. The floor is going to be iron blocks. Uh, we'll have like chests like here, for example. Or in like a wall, and then we can have a hopper underneath, which is uh, dispensing the potions and stuff. Sweet, awesome plans, awesome plans. I'm looking forward to this project. This project's gonna be awesome. This is super built. It's looking really good already. And then in the very back, we've got like a lot of space in the back as well. That's where we're going to be producing the potions and whatnot, like all the ingredients. And what did we need? Why did I even come over here? But we've got brewing stands over here. Oh, iron blocks, maybe? Hmm. I'm going to do a little bit more work, and I will see you guys in a little bit. Okay, I need a little bit more time with this building style. Uh, I'm not the best with these colours. I'm not the best with cyan, red, and polished diorite. Oh, dear. I mean, I dug out the car park, so it looks a lot, lot better. So this is where all the horses are going to park, and then you go up here, and then I completed this floor, so, like, you go through this toll booth, and then there are all of these potions lined up, and then to leave, you just go through here, like that. Yeah, I did all of that. And I... I've been messing with this for a while now. I don't know how to make a modern building style. It's so irritating. It's like, I don't know. With like the cyan and the red, which is black and red, I have no idea how to make a modern building style, so I'm gonna have to look to see how to make it in like a creative world, for example. I don't know how to make it. I've been experimenting too long. It's also 12 p.m. and I said I was gonna get to bed at 10, but it's not, it's 12, and <sighs> that's me. Well, I shall get to bed and try to follow the schedule, so that's gonna do me, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching another episode of Hypermind, and yeah, I hope you guys are enjoying these uh, episodes. I've got a few things uh, coming up, which I might need to take a quick break from, like, maybe some modded Hypermind stuff, just so I can go complete the projects. Uh, I've got a Minecraft minigame, which I need to complete. I've got some study, which I need to do. So I might take a break in one of these series soon enough, so that might be coming up. I've got the question of the day thing, which I do need to organize sometime, but that's going to do me, guys. Thank you, guys. And, yeah, thank you for joining me, and I'll catch you guys on the next episode of Hypermind. Cheers, guys.